Hi everyone. Hi Bumblebee. This is Shirley from Shirley's World and I'm here for my Sunday What's Old video. I come on every week, every Sunday at 4 o'clock Eastern Time uh, to report in on what I sold. I sell mostly on two platforms, mostly eBay, but also on Poshmark. Uh, yeah. So things are still slow, but uh, I don't want to wish uh, the the season ahead because once fall comes, then then looms winter. And hi, Diane. Hi. Yeah. So I don't want to wish the months away, but it still is slow. And uh, nobody said that anything's really picked up for them, the ones I've been reading. So I'll tell you, uh, yet another thing is something addicting to watch on your phone is uh, whatnot. I tune in on there a couple times a day and watch some sellers. It's very tempting to buy things, but most sellers on whatnot are not selling to resellers. They're selling, of course, trying to get the most for their products. Sometimes, in the beginning, a lot of people were selling things for a dollar, starting the bids at a dollar. But once they're on a few times and develop an audience, uh, they stop starting things at a dollar. So I was watching some some lady today. It was her first video, and uh, she was starting everything at a dollar. And so that's probably when you can get some good deals. It, uh, the trick is to buy the first thing, something very lightweight. That opens up the shipping then. From then on, you only pay for that shipping full price which is only going to be about five, about what we charge for first class shipping. Uh, a lot of it is like five something. So um, the next things are reduced shipping, all, everything else that you buy. So if you buy one thing, you sort of have to have to stick around on that channel and uh, be sure to pick up more things than just one. So, yeah. That's sort of fun. <laughs> I don't think that I could go on and do it because I think you have to be more organized than me. As when you're online, you'd be able to actually see <laughs> and be able to read. Uh, sometimes I can't even see what the little print is. And I don't want to bumble along. So. Seems like this summer has still been better than most for you, probably due to your faithful. Yeah, that's. I think that's due to my, I'm just listing more than I ever have before, more consistently. I never really did this before, uh, the way I'm doing it now. So that's probably why. Uh, hi, XYZ. Thanks for coming. <clears throat> Bumblebee, I'm going to have to send you my daughter's address because she definitely wants uh, to get a box from you. And, uh, or she can, t uh, I'll give her your text and she can text you, maybe. You can go back and forth with her. So, uh, yeah. So let's uh, get on with this. I sold, like I think I wrote on the, the introduction, I sold 27 things on eBay and just four things again on Poshmark. So uh, I don't think there was any big standout things this week. I'll have to see when I go through. Uh, but let's get to it. <laughs> I'm going to share my screen and go through the things that I did sell. If 
By the way, I still haven't figured out how to do the, um, you know, to have, to show things on the side, like in a vertical thing. I just, this is all I know how to do. And uh, my grandson thinks that he knows how to do it, but I have to, he doesn't know if I can do it on StreamYard or not. So I'm not sure if everybody that's doing it is on StreamYard or if they're just on the YouTube video and using an o OBS, which I don't even know what that is. He says I have to get that if I want to do it that way. So I don't know. So far, I haven't learned how to do it. So anyway, this will have to do in the meantime. So this first thing is a Talbot's uh, button-up shirt. It was uh, new with tags and long sleeve, this red and white sort of a check plaid. And this sold for $20.23, which is the sale price. And it went to Minford, Ohio, right here in Ohio someplace. I don't know if I can make this screen smaller or not. If I hit that button, it's going to be full screen. Ah, uh, I don't know. I better not try anything. <laughs> Because I could have it come way over and just show the picture of the item, but well, we'll see. I don't want to mess this up. It takes me about a half hour to set this up, so just let's just go to the next thing. Uh, now here, I think I can do it. Okay. Now, see, you're seeing just the item now, right? I think so. But then you can't see what I, um, what it actually sold for, unless I open up that much. <laughs> anyway, the next thing is by Hot Kiss, their jogger pants, kind of slinky stretch pants. They were new with tags in the floral, pretty floral pink color. And those black uh, things in, on the legs were sort of see-through mesh. This sold as uh, on sale for $13.19. And it went to Tampa, Florida. Here's a pair of Levi's uh, denim shorts, women's. These were these weren't booty shorts. These were like a regular size short shorts, not real real short. But they were really cute. I've never seen Levi's like this with these embroidered uh, flowers on there. This these this pair sold within a couple days of me putting it on. They are women's size 30, mid rise. And they sold for $19.95. There was no sale on that or anything. That's what I listed for. So maybe they bought this on a Monday when I don't have sales usually running. Uh, went to Vista, California. <clears throat> this is by, come on, come on, come on. This is slow because there's too many windows and tabs open. Uh, this is a little dress. Uh, it says midi. That doesn't look midi, but it's a larger size. It's a 1X women's petite. Well, petite being shorter, but this uh, is supposed to be a midi length. It's by La Sera. It's black and white floral type pattern. And this sold for $19.77, which is an offer I sent out to watchers. And somebody from Tulsa, Oklahoma bought this. <clears throat> the next thing I got in a box, remember when I got these, this was a pack. This is all in a package. There's, it's a lot of three. There are, they're like tank tops and they're shapers. They're called cami shapers and they're by Genie. 
and uh, they're in a 1X size. And these sold for $28.16 for the whole package. Uh, and they went to Las Vegas, Nevada. <clears throat> now, this, these were, this package was heavy. It had to go priority. Uh, keep in mind that with all these prices that I get, these are the prices uh, that, that the person pays, like this $28.16. Now, she has to also pay shipping. So she paid $16.10 shipping, so she ended up paying $46.62 total. Now, my this is the one I made the most on shipping because when I bought the uh, label, because I'm on, you know, you're selling on eBay and you get a break on the shipping. I only had to pay $12.29 for the label. So I made $3.72 extra on top of what I actually made. Uh, this price, $28.16, does not uh, allow for the for my cost of goods. But, yeah. The next thing, I hope that was sort of clear. I don't know. Sort of sounded jumbled to me. Uh, this is a Knox Rose knit top. I just got this recently. Uh, women's large uh, cottage core type thing. Uh, it had puff, sort of puffy. Uh, sleeves were a different fabric. They were like a rayon uh, silky fabric. And the other was a knit more of a knit and this sold for $16 and 75 71 cents which was this uh, sale price went to McPherson Kansas <clears throat> okay this is a Ralph Lauren custom fit short sleeve shirt in a men's extra large this is a little window pane uh, check on here and uh, this sold for $16.50, which was the best offer that I took. Went to Hampton, Virginia. <clears throat> Go on there. Okay, here's a, uh, this is a strapless maxi dress. This is all uh, smocked up like elastic smocking up here. And by Angie, which is not a high price. Uh, I don't know where they sell this. This could be a Walmart brand. It's it's a low priced item. But I did sell it for $13.19. So one of the things in that thread up box from yesterday was by Angie that I kept. And it was those uh, lounge pants. Because it does sell, it just doesn't sell for very much. So these, this went to Fairhope, Alabama, and sold for thirteen nineteen. <clears throat> the next thing is by Lands End. Seems I've sold quite a few things from Lands End lately. Uh, this is a sweater. It's a fine knit uh, sweater extra large in this pretty yellow color short sleeve sweater and uh, it sold for $12.77 which was an offer I sent out to watchers and it went to Mountain looks like BRK I wonder if they mean park or it could be bark <laughs> Mountain Bark Mountain Park Alabama one of the two uh, the next thing is by Abercrombie and Fitch. It's I think this is the second time I've sold this pair. Uh, first time they came back and they didn't fit the person. So I relisted them and then it took a while to sell again. But Abercrombie and Fitch, the little hiking shorts. Uh, bright red, zip all kinds of zip pockets. And this sold for $16.44. 
which was an offer I sent out to watchers, and it went to Peachtree City, Georgia. Uh, this is a Talbot's Marina wool sweater. I haven't had this for very long. I remember listing this. This is uh, had animal print on the top, and then it sort of was an ombre or ombre, well, how do you say that, uh, toward the bottom of the body and the sleeves and this sold for for um, $15 best offer it's funny how sometimes it'll say on here best offer accepted other times it doesn't say that so I don't know what makes the difference but that was the best offer that I took went to Fredericksburg Virginia I've been there on the way to Florida. I like Virginia. I think it's a beautiful state. <clears throat> Plus, that's where the plantations start. When you're on the look for plantations to go through. Uh, here's a top. This is like a sweatshirt. Vineyard Vines. Uh, pink. It had a spell out on the sleeve. I don't know if it shows it. Or not. It must someplace. Right there. You can see it. <laughs> uh, whoop. Yeah, it has the whale on the back. Let's see here. It has the whale on the back and the spell out on the uh that would be the left arm, I guess. If I'm not seeing this backwards, I don't think I am. So uh, this sold for $18, uh, best offer, again, it says. I uh, went to Dublin, Ohio. This is a uh, little knit top, men's medium, by from The Gap. It's a like a navy or a blue and white stripe, just a crew neck top. And this sold for $11.99. I don't think I had a best offer on this at all. I'm starting to uh, not put best offers on anything sort of below $12, sometimes below $15. Uh, yeah. And this went to Chalfont, Chalfont Pennsylvania for $11.99. This is by Kimchi Blue. It's an anthropology brand, or it used to be. I'm not sure if it still is. This is a little romper, and it has a uh, like a faux wrap here. And the, that front flap covers where they're, uh, it's actually shorts, but they are shorts there, see? And uh, sold for $17.99 which I'm not sure, maybe I didn't have a best offer on that uh, because it sold on a Tuesday, not a Monday. Went to San Bernardino, California. The next thing is by Under Armour. I just recently got these. They uh, were a hot pink. Uh, I think I just bought these at Goodwill myself. Uh, running shorts, semi-fitted, uh, heat gear, they were lined, and they sold for $14.99, no best offer, and they went to Aberdeen, Washington. <clears throat> this is by Aqua Brand, which I had never heard of, but it was cashmere. I think I might have picked this up because of the uh, of the uh, cashmere, but I'm not sure. It says it was in fair condition, two small holes found. So I I uh, put a lower price on it of twelve ninety nine. It was on sale for eleven sixty nine. No best offer, and that's what it sold for. For it went to Albuquerque, Albuquerque New Mexico. <clears throat> I 
I'm not sure where I got this little wristlet. This is by Vera Bradley. Uh, it's a little pot. It's just, just a little wallet that holds your cards and uh, some money. It's just a little, little tiny purse, zip-up purse by Vera Bradley. It sold for $6. I've had this for quite a while, and I cannot remember where I got it. Uh, but it went to Landenburg, Pennsylvania. Now, I just recently got these, DSTLD. I think I got the, like three pairs of these in a box. This is with a black pair, the black skinny denim jeans, men's. Size 30 by 32. Uh, they were cotton and spandex, new with tags, and these sold for $17.99. And they went to Frisco, Texas. There's my Texas sale. The next thing is, I just thought this was a gorgeous <laughs> dress. It's just NYC. It's a maxi dress. Even my daughter, when she was looking at what I had on my store, in my store, she even texted me that she thought this was a gorgeous dress. And if she was still going out, she would buy this and, and wear it. But anyway, it was a women's size large, much too big for her, but it had a strappy top. And it was just very, uh, very pretty colors together. And this sold for $20 best offer. And it went to Cortez, Colorado. <clears throat> Next thing is by Knox Rose. Again, a long sleeve button front dress. This was a, instead of being the tops that I usually get, this was a dress. It buttoned all the way down the front. And uh, this white, this black and white plaid and this sold for $17.99 which was the sale price and it went to Marshallville or no Marshalltown Iowa this size extra extra large I say that <clears throat> this is uh by forever 21 I didn't think I had I forgot about this top that I had from for by Forever 21. I didn't think I had hardly anything from that brand, but obviously I did. Now I just sold for, this is one that I didn't have best offer on, I'm sure, but it did go on sale from $9.95 and it sold for $8.96, this little top. And uh, it was sort of like a rayon feeling type material, but I'm sure it was polyester. And it went to Long Island City, New York. This is an L.L. Bean lightweight flannel shirt, men's extra large. This was an extra large tall plaid. It's a button-down collar. And this sold for $11.69. Not sure. Oh, this is the one on the sleeve here. Maybe you can see it a little bit there. It had like something hard on there that I couldn't scrape off. I couldn't get it off. It wouldn't come off with water. It was like glue that had been stuck on there, like a hardened glue. And I couldn't get it off at all. So I, I put it on, I put it, noted it on the listing, and I said it would make a good work shirt. Is what I said, and somebody bought it for eleven sixty nine. Good work shirt, good barn shirt, and a good brand. L. L. Bean, Ellen Tracy. This is a linen blend, uh, bright uh, sort of neon or flesh and green top tied at the waist. There, this is a cute little top. Uh, this sold for $15 best offer, and it went to Monroe City, Missouri. That uh, flannel shirt, by the way, went to Canton, North Carolina. 
This is something that I got in one of the boxes. I can't pronounce the name of that, so I won't even try. It was a midi skirt. It, it was a pull-on, I think it was a pull-on skirt. And it had like a shark bite or a handkerchief hem. And it was a sheer, sheer fabric over a lining. And I never thought I would ever sell this, to tell you the truth. But it did sell, and it sold for $15 best. No, wrong slip here. It sold for $14 best offer. Went to Coconut Creek, Florida. <clears throat> this is a... I'm not sure, does this have pearl buttons or not? I'm not sure where I got this. No, it just had regular buttons. This is by Cowboy Hardware. Never heard of the brand. I don't know if I got this in a box or where I got this. But anyway, it sold for $19.54, which was the sale price. And it went to uh, Tucson, Arizona. Maybe to a real cowboy. <clears throat> Next thing I just uh, listed just not too long ago. This is by Under Armour, an athletic top with little cap sleeves, uh, women's extra small, and that bright neon color. This went to Juno Beach, Florida, and it sold for $12.74. That was the sale price. Now, this little guy, this is the first plush I've sold in a while. This is a bigger one. This is like 10 inch. It's bigger than the normal little ones, six inch ones I sell. When I went to get him out of the closet, I forgot how he, his eyes, he looks right at you. I'm telling you. <laughs> it was hard to wrap him up and put him in a plastic bag. Let me just say that. He is from, I think it's a good, uh, like a giveaway or something you can buy at this restaurant, is what I had read. La, La Jolla, is that how you pronounce that? La Jolla Cove uh, has a little sweater hoodie on. It's a little uh, hoodie like that. It's a little seal, <laughs> and it's sold for $16.99. I did not put any sale. It wasn't on sale, and I don't think I had a best offer on him because, you know, sometimes you just don't want to put your little guys on sale. But he's going to a new home in Annadale, Virginia. Okay, now here's my Poshmark sales, my four big Poshmark sales. This is by Tommy Hilfiger. It sold for $16. It had sort of puffier, bigger sleeves uh, with elastic at the wrists. Button down the front with a band collar. And this was a size large. It sold for $16. And there was a shipping discount, unfortunately, on it. So I only made $10.12 on this shirt. But. Tommy Filfiger, I can't sell that brand anymore for anything, let me tell you. So I've stopped buying Tommy Filfiger and uh, just glad to sell what I have because I used to buy quite a lot of it. Uh, the next thing, come on. I've had this forever too. This is uh, by J. Crew. Uh, this is mine here. I don't know if it'll do it. Yeah, this is mine. But I did actually find a stock photo, or maybe Bumblebee sent me a stock photo, <laughs> which looks much better. Uh, this is a size 00. zero. It's a boy style button front silk blend shirt. This sold for $25. And from the $25, I got $20. And it went to Columbus, Ohio. That other Tommy shirt went to San, San Dimas, California. 
Uh, the next Poshmark sale was one of my favorite things ever. These are these. I just got these. Remember, I just uh, these tiny little toddler shoes by Vans. These are little Vans shoes. They were the cutest things ever. Little floral uh, pattern. These sold right away when I put them on. Maybe I should have marked them up more. I don't know. They have elastic shoelaces. You know, doesn't have to be tied. And uh, sold for $15. They were just so cute. They went to Sulphur, Oklahoma. And the last thing is uh, Chico's size 3, which is an extra large knit tunic top. Three-quarter sleeves. It had... Uh, like a pocket way down here the, near the hem. This sold for uh, $23. Went to Dallas, Texas, and I got $18.40 from that. So let me show you my sad little graft here. Uh, I did have a big last Sunday. I had a big day, two hundred over two hundred dollar big day. Then it was downhill from there. Well, I'd, I I did hit a hundred dollars two more days here, but then as you can see, it sort of slants down. But you know, it's up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, here's my numbers. I may have to open the screen a little bit more. <clears throat> okay, this is from the 10th, July 10th to the 16th, last Sunday to yesterday. Uh, total sales, this is eBay, total sales, $631.98. This is 27 sold. Uh, the taxes we don't pay any attention to, they come and they they get charged and then they come back to you. So selling costs, that includes eBay fees plus my labels that I buy. So $215.14, netting me out at $382.58 for the whole week. That's not counting, uh, say 27 times three dollars you have to take that off too so kind of a sad week uh if you do that times four this isn't even making me the amount i want to make to take care of my horses and my animals yeah average sale 23 dollars and 41 cents so there you go Uh, no repeat buyers. They were all new buyers. So let me get back here. Well, I can tell you on Posh. Oh, let me get back here first so I can make sure I get here. Okay. On Poshmark, I sold uh, $79. That's gross. So net is $60.50. 52 cents. That's also not counting cost of goods. So pretty sad. But you never know. Let's see here what people are saying. I'm sorry you I'm not answering this these things when I'm on sharing because I can't see them. It covers it up. So I'm not uh Ignoring you. Okay, I heard, saw that one before. Let's see. Wondering if low-priced items are more needed now with the economy. You know, that's what seems to be selling, isn't it? I've noticed that too. It definitely seems to be selling the lower price, all the lower-priced items out of my closet. That's what's selling. I think a wide variety of price ranges help to have something for every budget. Yes, you're probably right, Pumpy. <clears throat> XYZ wants a box. Uh, 
Yeah, I'll send my uh, daughter's email or text. Right. Okay, I will. I think the way you show your sales actually makes it larger for us to see, but maybe that's just my phone. Probably on the phone, yeah, it does. <clears throat> Yes, just the item. Is that, is that, does that look better? I think Angie's is, oh, let me see this. Angie's is a Francesca's. Maybe Angie's is like Forever 21 can sell quick, but not much money. Yeah, but a sale would trigger more sales. You're so positive, Bumblebee. <laughs> That's why I like to talk to you. The Vera Bradley was from you. Okay, that's where it came from. Because I didn't remember ever buying that. So, yeah. Uh, neon and tangerine orange are in right now. Right. Uh, so I guess you'll be listing the Forever 21 you got yesterday. Probably I will pull that out of the bag. <laughs> and uh, listen, I think I already did. I think I, it's already hanging upstairs. I pulled that out and something else I pulled out. And I found out what that big, long, black dress was. It was huge. Remember that, that dress from yesterday? That line is Loyal Hannah. Loyal Hannah. That comes a big from a good department store, and it's expensive brand, and it's a maternity. It's a maternity label. And the one I have has zippers right here. So it's a nursing uh, one that you can nurse from too, too. So it's maternity nursing type. And they're listed. I think they're listed a lot on Poshmark, that brand. Yeah. Hi, Randy. <laughs> uh, yeah, the plush seal. I just loved his little face. Yeah, the shoes. They were so cute. <laughs> uh, uh, let's see. I keep watching uh, Ginger Marvin. She sells a lot of kids, little kids' shoes. So I, where I never used to look in the kids' shoes, now I look there all the time. And I remember I sold the Crocs, the little Crocs, last week or the week before. And now I sold these little ones. So I will always look in there now. Yeah. Let's see here. Known searched brands. 20 versus non-known. Unsearched brands. 11. So a third of my sales. were a, a third of my sales were were unsearched wait a minute i don't understand what you're saying here i guess unexpected surprises known search brands 20 versus non-known unsearched brands 11. so a third of my sales were unsearched brands that the, the that the buyer is searching for you mean hmm that's interesting so they're probably just going by the style and the picture and they're not looking for a certain brand let me see here it's watching Lori I'm Lori's Boston Found. I love that name that she has, Lori's Boston Found. She sells Wild Fable, Knox Rose, and Fifth uh, Sun, all Target brands. Well, I, you know I sell a lot of Knox Rose. <laughs> Wild Fable I've gotten once in a while. Uh, Fifth Sun, I don't think, I don't know if I've ever had that or not. But I know people like Target. People like Target brands. So, yeah, I like Target. 
I mean, just to shop in. It's just the whole atmosphere is so different than Walmart. Uh, yeah. Of course, their prices are a little bit more, but it's especially like groceries. Yeah. Because I only go in there for grocery. I don't go in there for clothes. But I go in for groceries or dog food or household things and to pick up my prescriptions, <laughs> which are at CVS. Uh, yeah, I do walk around in the clothes once in a while just for info uh, if I have time. So yesterday when I was about to go to uh, Goodwill when the tart when the uh, thread up box came, I was going to try something. Maybe I said this yesterday, but you know I don't remember what I said, and I could have just said this to Michelle. Uh, I was going to. I have two cameras in my house now. They cover a, you know, sort of large areas. I was going to, instead of putting my dog in the crate, I was going to just leave her loose in the house. And just, I was just going to drive up the road and park and watch through my phone. I can see what she's doing and see what she does if she's out of the crate. Now, the thing that I was afraid of before was my family room is all windows. I don't want her bouncing against the windows trying to get out to me. So if that happens, she's going to have to be in the crate. That's why I put her in the crate in the first place. But who knows? Now she may be, now that she knows the house and, you know, has her favorite spots, maybe she'll do better out of the crate. So I'm just going to try it just by driving up the road where I can drive right back. So we'll see, because the only other thing I can do, because I'm sort of stuck in this house. I never thought it would go on this long. I mean, for heaven's sakes, she's on Prozac. And uh, the doctor, the vet said, this is the low dose. You can always, we can always up the dose. I hate to do that. I never thought in a million years I'd have a dog. That I'd have to put on Prozac. Never. But this one you do. Uh, so maybe you should list that wild fable crop sweater from yesterday. I can't remember which one that is, but I will certainly search it out. <laughs> uh I, it could already be upstairs. I don't know. I didn't put too many things. And the couple things I did put in there, I went back and put, pulled them out. So it's hard for me to just give things back, you know. So anyway, that's what I'm going to try with my doggy. She's just so attached to me. I want. I have to go over to Michelle's house, but I can take her with me because that's she lives over a half hour away so that's an hour just driving and then i have to be over there for a while so i take her with me but if michelle wants me to go shopping with her, me with her <laughs> yeah that's that's going to be a problem she needs to come out here and shop in the medina county Goodwills, where prices are actually cheaper than Cuyahoga County. Uh, okay, I will certainly go back and look for that wild fable crop sweater. Was that that great big gold one with the with the cow neck? Was that wild fable? If so, that's already upstairs. <laughs> In fact, I just, here, here it is right here. In fact, 
fact, I photographed this. I don't know if this is what you're talking about. Let me see if this is who this is by. Yes. Yes, I pulled it out. I already photographed it. And I'm going to put it on. It goes on. I have to, I have a stack of things here that I have to uh, measure and bag up. <laughs> yeah, so I did that already. I hope you can find a way to get out more. It might be worth it to boost the treatment up. Yeah. It, something because I can't I can't just be in my house all the time. It's not good for me either. <laughs> uh, the less I walk, the harder it is to walk. Even if you sell them super low and get my money out of them, right? So that is this week's uh, haul. Just keep going day by day. And uh, I will uh, be back sometime during the week. I'm sure that I'll either have to go shopping. Uh, I haven't, I don't have any boxes coming. I should have ordered a couple more blue boxes. Unless Bumblebee's box is coming. I don't. She didn't mention it is so. though. Um, anyway, I'll be back sometime there during the week. And uh, I'll say bye for now. Thank you for all, all for coming. It would be cute with jeans for the fall. Yeah, it would. It's a pretty color. Good fall color. <clears throat> Mustard orange. Yeah, I think I did too. Okay, I will see you sometime in the middle of the week. Keep an eye out for me sometime in the afternoon. <laughs> I like to uh, do the vid the haul video as soon as I get home from Goodwill if I'm if I get a haul. Because if I wait till 4 o'clock, then I get too tired and I have to wait till the next day to do anything with all the things. So, uh, thanks XYZ for, for stopping by for sure. <laughs> and I will see you all then. <laughs>